girls. I'm so glad that you're here today for virtual preschool. While we wait for all the friends to join us, let's sing I Like to Make Music with our friend Miss Nancy. She's going to play her guitar. Can you make the music too by making the noises with your mouth and clapping your hands and tapping your knees? Will you sing with me? Here's Miss Nancy singing I Like to Make Music. This is, I like to make music from the seasons. I like to make music, yes I do. I like to make music with you. I like to make music, yes I do. I like to make music with you. I can clap my hands, clap, clap. Clap, I can clap my hands. Clap, clap, clap. I like to make music. Yes, I do. I like to make music with you. I can pat my knees. Pat, pat, pat. I can pat my knees. Pat, pat, pat. And I can clap my hands. Clap, clap, clap. I can clap my hands. Clap, clap, clap. I like to make music, yes I do, I like to make music, with you I can, I can, and I can pat my knees, pat, 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 I can pat my knees, pat, 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 and I can clap my hands, clap, 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 I can clap my hands, clap, clap, clap. I like to make music, yes I do. I like to make music with you. I can, I can, and I can, I can. And I can pat my knees, pat, 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 pat my knees, pat, 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 and I can clap my hands, clap, 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 yes, I can clap my hands, clap, 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 I like to make music, yes, I do, I like to make music with Thank you, Miss Nancy. Isn't that so fun to sing and make music together to start our day? Well, you know who we should wake up. It's Betsy. She's sleeping right here behind my board. But if I count to three and then you say, Betsy, where are you? I know she'll come out. Are you ready? One, two, three. Betsy, where are you? Are you back there? She is. Hello, boys and girls. Betsy, what are you wearing? It's a scarf. Why are you wearing a scarf in spring? I'll tell you in a minute. First, we should sing hello to the boys and girls, and then maybe Betsy can explain to us why she's wearing a scarf in April. Will you do that? Okay, let's sing hello to the boys and girls. Hello, friends. How are you? Can you sing Hello Betsy? Hello Betsy, how are you? And will you sing Good Morning to Miss Jamie? Hello Miss Jamie, how are you? We're so glad to see you. Here, here, we're all here. Here, here, we're all here. Here, here, we're all here. We're all here together. Yay! Now Betsy, it's springtime and it's pretty warm out, not snowing. Why are you wearing a scarf? <gasps> really? Betsy says she put on her scarf today so you could see it because it's made out of wool. Do you know where wool comes from? Do you know? Wool comes from sheep. And we're learning about sheep. So you wanted to wear your wool scarf today? Okay, that's good. I have a wool scarf too. Maybe I'll show it to you in a minute. 
Betsy, I'm gonna lay you down and then we're gonna teach the boys and girls a new nursery rhyme today. See you soon. Okay, so Betsy has on her wool scarf because we're gonna be learning all about sheep and wool today. Have you ever seen a sheep at a farm or maybe at the zoo? Have you ever seen sheep? They're so soft and wooly. The nursery rhyme, which is a poem that we're gonna to learn today, is about a sheep that has black wool. It goes like this. Ba, ba, black sheep. Have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One, two, three bags full. One for my master, one for my dame, and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Do you want to try to say it with me? It goes like this. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for my master, one for my dame, and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Isn't that silly? In this story, the sheep has given bags of his wool to the three people who live down the lane. And a lane is like a little street or a little path. Here are some pictures of real sheep. These are some white sheep. Do you see how they're all covered in wool? Some of them have really thick wool coats and some of them are younger or maybe they just were sheared and they don't have a thick coat. Do you see all the wool growing on these sheep? Well, in the springtime, it gets too hot for the sheep to have that big wool coat. So do you know what the farmers do? The farmers shear the sheep. Can you say that word? Shear the sheep. It's like giving them a haircut. It doesn't hurt the sheep. They use their big shearing scissors. Do you see these big shears? And they give the sheep a haircut. Have you ever had your hair cut? It doesn't hurt. And it makes the sheep so that their wool coat isn't so thick. And then do you know what the farmers can do with the wool? They can make it into things like yarn. Yes, a lot of yarn is made out of wool. And do you know what we can do with yarn? We can make scarves, just like the one that Betsy made. This is my scarf from the winter. It's really soft and I wear it around my neck like this. It keeps me warm when it's cold outside. Do you have anything at your house made out of wool from a sheep? I also have this hat and it keeps me warm too. It's made out of wool. Can you see it? It was yarn and then the yarn was all woven together to make a wool hat that will keep my head warm when it's snowing outside. Thanks sheep for all that wool. Well, in this little nursery rhyme poem, the sheep was black, but I wonder if we could play a silly game where we change the color of the sheep. Do you think you could help me say the poem, but we'll make up different colors for the sheep? Let's do it over here. So this is the poem, the nursery rhyme poem. And it goes like this. Let's see if you can see this one. It goes, ba, ba. And the original song says, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. Can you say it with me? Maybe I'll use the pointer so you can see the words. Ready? Ba, ba, black sheep. Good. I can hear you. Have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. But what if instead of a black sheep, what if we put in a different silly color? What color is this sheep? He's yellow. Can you say the new poem with me and make him a yellow sheep? Okay, here goes. Ba, ba, yellow sheep. Good reading. Have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags 
full. You did it! You're so good at reading. Let's change him so he's not yellow anymore. This time, let's make him... Can you read that color word? Purple! Yes, let's say it with a new word in it. Can you read it with a new word in it? Here goes. Ba, ba, purple sheep. Have you any wool? Good reading. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. You did it really well with the purple sheep. Here comes another one. Can you read this color word? Green. Did you say green? Oh, you're good at reading your color words. Let's say the poem together, and this time we're going to make him a green sheep. That's silly. I've never seen a green sheep in real life. Can you say it with me? Ba, ba, green sheep. Good reading. Have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. Wow, you're a really good reader. Should we try another color? What's your favorite color? Which one should we do next? Tell me. <gasps> Evelyn and Victoria want a pink sheep? I think I have one. Look what I have, girls. <gasps> You're right. It is a pink sheep. Okay. Can you read the poem? Evelyn and Victoria, can you do it with your pink sheep? Let's do it. Ready? Say, ba, ba, pink sheep. Good. I hear you. Have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. Good reading with a pink sheep. All right, Hudson, you want the blue one, huh? My friend Beckett also wants blue. He always wants blue. Here he comes. Do you see the word blue? Okay, let's see if we can read it all together. Ready? Ba, ba. Blue sheep, have you any wool? Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. Wow, we have five sheep. I have three more. What other colors would you like to see? Addie really wants a red sheep. I think I have one for you, Addie. Let's see. <gasps> red sheep. Good. All right, let's do it together. Ready? Here goes. Ba, ba. Say it so I can hear you. Red sheep. Have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. I can hear you reading. Wow, you're so good at all of those color words. Rowan wants red, Luke wants red, everybody got the red sheep. All right, which one comes next? I have two more. Can you figure out, oh, it's hard to see. Can you figure out which ones are missing? Let's see, we have red yellow green blue purple pink there's one of the rainbow colors that's missing do you know palmer knows is he knows which one is it it is orange yes hi everybody clayton knew it was the orange one let's read it all together say it really loud so i can hear you all the way here in virginia ready ba ba orange sheep have you any wool? Good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. Good. I have one more sheep, but it's not a rainbow color. It's a different color that's not rainbow. Hmm. Which one do you think it might be if it's not a rainbow color? Hmm, 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 hmm. Oh, you can peek at his ears. Do you know? Here he comes. It is a gray sheep. Good reading. This is the last one that I have for all of the rainbow sheep. It's a gray sheep. I think I've seen a real gray sheep at a farm. Have you ever seen a real gray sheep? Yes, sometimes they're gray or brown or white. Okay, this is the last one, so I want to hear you really loud. Say, ba, ba, gray sheep. Here goes, ready? Ba, ba, gray. Oh, I can hear you. Sheep, have you any wool? Say it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags 
beautiful. You read all of those color words. Friends, I am so proud of you. You're becoming such good readers that you can say all of those color words and read the whole nursery rhyme poem. Mm, brainy kiss. Mwah, brain, that was so smart. You read all of those colors. Good job. Another way that we can play with this nursery rhyme is to act it out. I have some toys here that I just found in my toy box. I have a black sheep and I didn't have any bags of wool so I made little balls of black yarn. We're going to pretend like they're black bags of black wool. And I have some toys out of my block, my block toy box and the block center. I have a man and a woman and a little boy and we could say the poem and act it out with these toys my people don't stand up very well they stand up a little bit especially if i'm holding the tray let's see if we can do it ba ba black sheep have you any wool yes sir yes sir three bags full and the sheep is going to give one for my master that's like an old-fashioned word for a man and one for my dame that's an old-fashioned woman for a lady and one for the little boy who lives down the lane ba ba black sheep have you any wool yes sir yes sir three bags full yes you could practice doing it just like that well, I have a super cute, we're gonna do the book a little bit early today because it's so super cute and then it will go with the activity that we're gonna do at the end, okay? So let's do the book just a little bit early today. This book is called Ba Ba Black Sheep by the author illustrator whose name is Jane Cabrera. And Jane Cabrera writes lots of nursery rhyme stories, but they're a little bit different than the regular nursery rhyme. While I read it to you, I want you to be thinking. Turn your thinking cap on, click, 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 and make sure your brain is thinking. Hey, that reminds me of something else that I know about. I'm making a connection. See if you can make a connection while we read this Baba Black Sheep. In this one, it's not yes, sir, yes, sir. Do you see it's a little girl? So the sheep says, yes, miss, yes, miss three bags full. Can you help me when we get to that part? Say it. Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Three bags full. Ba, ba, black sheep. That's the title page. Look at all that black wool. That's a lot. Oh, here's another title page. Ba, ba, black sheep by Jane Cabrera. And do you see the little girl is knitting with the black yarn? Yeah. Okay, here goes. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Can you say this part with me? Yes, miss, yes, miss, three bags full. One for a hat and one for mittens. One for a messy muddle for the kittens. She's making things out of all of that wool. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Say the next part with me. Yes, miss, yes, miss, three bags full. Good reading. One for a swing and one for a vest. One for the bright blue eggs in the nest. Look, they used the wool to make a bird nest. And the bird is wearing a sweater. That kind of reminds me of Betsy with her scarf on. Does that remind you too? Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, miss, yes, miss, three bags full. Look, her coat is not quite as fluffy as it was at the beginning. Did you notice that? One for a shepherd, one for Bo Peep. And one for lots of small, soft sheep. Look at all those tiny little sheep. 
Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, miss, yes, miss, three bags full. And look, the sheep does not have a big furry coat right here, does she? Not quite as much. This one says, one for a beard, oh, sorry, and one for a wig, and one for a tea cozy for the pig. Does this picture remind you of anything? The big bad wolf? That's silly, yeah. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, miss, yes, miss, three bags full. And look, the sheep does not have a big woolly coat right now. She barely has just a little bit on top of her head. One for the children and one for a missus and one for a baby all covered in kisses. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any? Oh, wool. No, miss, no, miss, no bags full. Look, the sheep is not wearing any wool. She gave it all to the girl to make all of those things. Ba, ba, black sheep, thank you for the wool. Thank you, thank you for many bags full. Sorry we took it all, sorry it's all gone. Until your wool grows back, please put these on. Look, the, the sheep now is wearing a wool sweater and a wool scarf, a wool hat, and wool booties. That's kind of silly, huh? And then the last page has the music. And the tune for Ba Ba Black Sheep might be one that you know. Ba Ba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. Isn't that cute how the sheep gave all the wool to the girl to make all of the different things from the yarn? I love that story. Today, for your homework activities or for your play activities, I have two things for you that I want to show you. So in your play pack that I sent to your printers, your grown-ups should get a play pack that looks like this. It came to your printers, and inside there are two things that I want to show you. The first thing is a book. So one of the pages, it looks silly when it comes out of the printer. It looks like this, upside down and crazy. And your job is to color the pictures inside the book. And then watch what you're going to do with it. You're going to fold the book long, we call this hot dog style, and then we're gonna fold it this way, hamburger style, and then you're going to have a book that looks like this. The dots are where you put your finger when you read the story. So if you are four years old, five years old, six years old, I want you to practice touching the dots when you say this nursery rhyme. So if it's stuck in your head, if you know all the words, see if you can match your words to your finger when you're pointing. Watch me do it. Ba, ba, black sheep. Did you see how I touched each of the dots? That's what I would like you to try to do. And then watch this one. Have you any wool? Do you see how I touched each dot so that the words that I was saying match the dots? Let's keep going. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you see my fingers jumping to the dots? And the last page says, three bags full. Can you try that at home? Can you try pointing to the dots and saying the poem from your head? That's how you'll get to be a good reader. And then the other fun thing that I have for you is a sheep picture. And for this one, you can pick any color you want to make your sheep. It doesn't have to be black sheep, it could be any color. So you can get your crayons or your markers or your paint, however you'd like to do it. And you, you know my favorite color, and you can color your sheep any color that you'd like. Do you know what my favorite color is? Have I ever told you? It is purple. So I'm going to make my sheep purple, 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 like this. I'm going to give them a little purple bit on the top. Wouldn't it be fun to have a purple sheep with purple wool? 
Ooh, that would be fun. I'm going to give him some purple legs. Yep. And then I'm going to see if I can say the poem at the bottom with my color word in it. So instead of ba, ba, black sheep, I'm going to do it like we did in the poem together. I'm going to see if I can write the word purple and see if I can read it like this. Ready? Ba, ba, purple sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. Good, purple is my favorite color. What is your favorite color? I would love to see your colorful sheep. Maybe you can even make a rainbow sheep. <laughs> see if you can color it your favorite color and write your color word. And maybe your mommy or daddy or your grown up can take a picture and show me how you made your rainbow sheep. Would you like to do that? I would love to see it. All right, boys and girls. We are just about done for today. Would you like to get Betsy out and sing a nice goodbye song? And I think she would like some bird seed. On the count of three, can you say, Betsy, come back. Ready? One, two, three. Betsy, come back. Oh, hello, boys and girls. Do you know what Betsy's favorite color is? yellow. That's why she has a yellow scarf and a yellow beak. That's her favorite color. Does anybody else like yellow? Hmm, maybe you're like Betsy. Okay, Betsy, it's time for us to sing goodbye to the boys and girls. Are you ready? Here goes. Preschool time is over now, over now, over now. Preschool time is over now for another day. Good singing. Wave goodbye to all of our friends, all of our friends, all of our friends. Wave goodbye to all of our friends. It's time to stay home and play. Hip, hip, hooray. All right, reach way down into your pocket. Reach way down in there, get a big handful. And on the count of three, Betsy's gonna try to catch it. Are you ready? One. Two, three, throw that bird seed. Oh, oh, extra. Mm. Ooh, that's you have to save some and make bird seed soup for later. <gasps> More? Thank you so much. Now Betsy's gonna blow you a kiss. Can you catch it? Catch it all the way. Stick it to your cheek. Put some glue on so it stays all day and give yourself a big hug from Miss Jamie and Betsy. We're so proud of you, and we will see you again tomorrow. Bye.